Good afternoon, Kwame. Thank you for coming. And first of all, may I congratulate your, you on your appointment as chairman of Study Group 12. Thank you very much. The first question I want to ask you is uh, really just to give us a bit of an overview of uh, Study Group 12 and, 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 and tell us perhaps some features that have, uh, that have come up in the last study period, the last four years. Right. Study Group 12 is the least study group at the ITU on quality of service, quality of experience, and also is the lead study group on vehicle um, destruction and as well as in-car voice communication. So you can see that we are closer to the user and everybody when it comes to quality because whatever service that you are on or whatever network that you are on, you expect a certain good experience and which you eventually call value for money. So the standards that will bring this closer to you to give you that effect, that is the work that we do. This, this issue of driver distraction is one that I think most people, resonates with most people. We all know how tempting it is to pick up a telephone when we're in the car. That's right. It's illegal in most countries, but will there be published specifications or recommendations on that issue uh, within the next study period, do you think? Yes, um, over the last study period, it, there were focus groups, and we don't do this alone. We do this in collaboration with other standard organizations as well as car manufacturers, and um, we have made a lot of progress, and just as you're talking about regulations in many countries which are banning um, using phones in your car and things like that, you can listen to music, so why can't you listen to a call in, in your car? It's the same voice, but how do you balance it that it doesn't cause this destruction? Yes, we're working hard in, in, in this new study um, period. We hope to make recommendations that will be effectively um, probably abrogate some of these regulations when it is put on trial, because if the system has confidence in how these standards work, that yes, it doesn't cause um, distractions, then I mean, we don't need to be enforcing laws which will be banning people from speaking in their vehicles. And that, that's talking about people that are driving cars, but people that might want to stay at home and work from home and use technologies like teleconferencing. Quality of service is, is quite important there as well. Very, very, very key. Um, teleconferencing um, in, 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 in our current situation of um, climate change is very, very essential. I mean, why transport people all over countries and flights and with the um, carbonation of the environment? Um, you could cut it with a teleconference and you know you get frustrated if the quality of that teleconference is not good enough. And we are working hard to establish standards which would be such that the teleconference will be like an in-house or a physical meeting. So these are things that um, we're working on and we, we know that if people are cutting on travel because tele, um, teleconference is good enough, then we are cutting on oxidation to the environment and definitely we are saving our climate. The last question I'd like to ask you is whether there are any other areas uh, of Study Group 12's work that you'd like to highlight. Yes, um, quality of service, you know, um, maybe in the developed world has been fine, has been okay, but uh, to the developing countries it's been a very big challenge and I'm an example of um, bridging the standardization gap activity of the ITU. So we are looking now to especially the interest of um, developing countries, how they're able to catch up with quality of service standards and be able to implement it, and so that the kind of services that are enjoyed or the kind of experiences maybe that are in developed work can equally be experienced in developing countries. So the, these are um, high points that we will want to look at and, and work to really help bridge the gap. Congratulations again and thank you very much. Thank you.